Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How does Project 2025 impact abortion rights? Project 2025 is a federal policy agenda that significantly affects abortion rights in the United States. One major impact is the proposal to end medication abortion, which accounts for 63% of abortions in the U.S. This would involve revoking the FDA's approval of abortion drugs like mifepristone and misoprostol, which have been used safely for decades. Another important aspect is the plan to deny emergency, life-saving abortion care. Project 2025 aims to dismantle protections under the Emergency Medical Treatment and Labor Act, EMTALA, which requires hospitals to provide abortion care in life-threatening situations. This could allow hospitals to refuse necessary abortion care in emergencies. The project also seeks to criminalize the shipping and transportation of abortion pills and supplies. By enforcing the Comstock Act, a 19th century law, Project 2025 would make it illegal to mail any abortion-related materials, including medication and equipment. This would severely limit access to abortion, particularly for women in rural areas who depend on mail-order medication. Additionally, Project 2025 proposes an abortion surveillance system that would mandate states to report detailed information on women seeking abortions. This includes data on gestational age, reasons for the procedure, and the patient's residency. Such invasive data collection could lead to the criminalization of both patients and providers, jeopardizing the health, privacy, and rights of women across the country. The plan also aims to expand null conscience laws, null permitting healthcare providers to deny patients care based on personal beliefs. This would impact not only abortion care, but also other medical services, like gender affirming care. Even administrative staff could refuse to schedule appointments for abortion care, leading to increased denials of essential medical services. Project 2025 also targets funding for reproductive health care by proposing to eliminate Medicaid funds to Planned Parenthood, even for non-abortion services such as breast cancer screenings, birth control, and STI testing and treatment. This would deprive many women of vital health care services, putting their health and lives at risk. Moreover, the plan seeks to remove emergency contraception coverage from the Affordable Care Act, denying survivors of rape and incest a critical option to prevent pregnancy after trauma, further undermining women's health, safety, and autonomy. The Department of Justice would be encouraged to take legal action against local officials who refuse to prosecute abortion-related cases. This aggressive strategy aims to compel local officials to enforce these restrictive policies or face federal lawsuits, removal from office, or even criminal charges. Overall, Project 2025 represents a significant threat to abortion access and reproductive autonomy in the United States. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.